Greetings, history lovers. Welcome to This Tweet in History, the Week in Review, podcasting to you on tape delay from our North America studios. Here are your top stories for the week ending August 29, 2009. World, Dateline, Indonesia, August 27, 1883. Krakatoa's last gap equals Hiroshima times 10,000. Shockwaves circle Earth seven times. Tsunamis, 36,000 deaths. The backstory. In the 1800s, the island volcano of Krakatoa was largely unknown. That all changed in 1883 when the island erupted into one of the most catastrophic natural disasters in recorded history in an explosion that was heard more than 3,000 miles away. Dust from the eruption was carried as far as New York City and affected solar radiation and the Earth's weather for several years after. The eruption spawned several tsunamis in the Pacific Ocean, the west coast of the United States, South America, and the English Channel. The explosion, with a total force equivalent to 200 megatons of TNT, destroyed the entire northern portion of the island. To sports, Dateline Greece, August 29, 2004. Zalima, surprise leader after 13, knocked off the road and his game by crazed ex-priest, ends up bronze. The backstory. Brazil's Vanderlei de Lima was not expected to be the frontrunner in the 2004 marathon in the Athens Olympics, but after 13 miles, he claimed the lead. Nine miles later, Cornelius Horan, clad in an orange kilt, stepped into the middle of the course and pushed de Lima into the crowd. Horan, a deranged, defrocked Irish priest, was fresh off a two-month sentence for having stood for 20 seconds in the middle of the track at Britain's Grand Prix the year earlier. De Lima collected himself and finished the race valiantly, although having been knocked out of rhythm by Horan, he was knocked out of first and second place by runners from Italy and the United States. At the closing ceremonies, De Lima was awarded the Medal for Sportsmanship by the International Olympic Committee. Things that make you go, huh? No, really? Huh. Dateline America, August 25th, 1835. According to the sun, there's intelligent life on the moon. More intelligent than life at Yale, apparently. The backstory. In 1835, upstart newspaper The New York Sun, seeking publicity, published a set of satirical articles telling the fantastic story of life on the moon, supposedly uncovered by Sir John Herschel, observed through his telescope in South Africa. The public swallows, hook, line, and sinker illustrated tales of upright walking beavers who lived in huts and were capable of making fire and winged anthropomorphs. The paper sold thousands of copies and attracted a contingent from Yale University who traveled to the Sun's headquarters for details and left believers. This week's birthdays, August 23, drummer Keith Moon, August 24, PLO leader Yasser Arafat, August 25, composer Leonard Bernstein, August 26, humanitarian Mother Teresa, August 27th, Pee Wee Herman creator Paul Rubens, August 28th, philosopher Johann von Goethe, and August 29th, king of pop Michael Jackson. Thank you for joining us for this Tweet in History, the Week in Review. Be sure to follow us on twitter.com slash historytweet and check our archives at historytweet.blogspot.com.